drinking buddies. I have a seven bottle bottle haul to share with you guys. I think it might be my most epic one yet. Let's go. I'm your drinking buddy. All right, drinking buddies, to begin, we have a triplet of bottles from Found North. Now, I don't know if you guys have heard of this distillery yet. I did feature this one. Uh, sorry, not this one. I did finish feature this one in a short. I had this sample blind and it just straight up blew me away. I couldn't believe it was Canadian whiskey because it reminded me so much of um, Buffalo Trace weeded bourbon at cask strength. It's 116.2 proof. This tastes like it's... This this slaps Weller Full Proof. It's in the ball. It's probably better than 107, and it's in the ballpark of like Old Rip Tan and, and William Rue Weller. William Rue Weller is probably better, but this is like in that ballpark. And this is a bottle you can buy right now online. Go buy it. Uh, but anyway, these were sent to me by the distillery, so cards on the table. Um, I, I do like when they send me stuff like that. I do try to like review them blind as well so that I know for sure what I really think about them. And I have done a blind review with both of these. I don't know if you've seen those yet. I've already filmed them, but I don't know if they've made it to you yet. My filming schedule is kind of all over the place. But anyway, these uh, I've reviewed blind and you will be pretty surprised at how well they did. Uh, this guy is going to be a 17 year uh, Canadian. They're Canadian, so you got to get past that. Don't let it fool you just because it says Canada on it. These two are pretty similar. These two are pretty similar to bourbon, and this is pretty similar to American rye. Anyway, 17 year cask strength whiskey, 87% corn, 12% rye, 1% malted barley, 128.2 proof. This guy is unicorn level good. This rye over here is 17 years old, 64% rye, 32% corn, 4% malted barley, 110.2 proof. This guy is like unicorn rye good. And this one over here, like I just feel like this just takes the cake for me. I know I haven't opened this one yet, but when I tried it, it was a sample and that sample did not last. I drank that all that night, which normally when I get a sample, I'll try to save some for another video later. Didn't happen. Uh, this is really fantastic stuff. 73% corn, 27% wheat. So this is gonna be a blend of 73% 21-year-old whiskey and 27% eight, and eight-year-old whiskey. Now, the two together make for this really awesome marriage of young sweetness and like old oakiness, and it's just beautiful. It's a beautiful bottle. So if you haven't tried any Found North, you can buy these online. You can buy them on multiple websites. And the prices you'll see are kind of high, but when you, when you take into account how old this whiskey is, you're going to have to figure that. You know, they're going to be old. But they're still less than Fourgate. They're still less than Kentucky Owl and a lot of those other NDS producers. I would say what they're putting out is better. I, that's that's my opinion, but you know, you take that for what you will. Next up, I grabbed at Total Wine. I grabbed this uh, Knob Creek Seven Year Rye. Uh, it's a dollar more to get the seven year age statement printed on the bottle. But I had a subscriber who's been begging me to review this, so that is going to come. Next up, I was at uh, Nana's, and they got another pick from uh, Doc Swinson's. And yeah, it's a small um, small batch. It's like sixty barrels, but. Uh, sorry, it's a small batch. It was like 60 bottles. Um, but yeah, it's a single barrel from them. And uh, yeah, I'm always down for a Nana's pick. So I had to grab that. Um, and then um, while I was there, and then um, I've been I've been looking everywhere for this Jack Daniel single barrel barrel proof rye. These two are on my list of bottles I'm going to hunt this summer. So two down so far. Doing pretty well. Um, it's 134.4 proof. And the Jack Daniel single barrel barrel proof from a couple years ago was one of the best bottles of all time as far as the rye category goes. So I'm super excited for this one. I cannot wait to open this. But as you can see, I got a lot of other stuff that I want to open too. So last up, grabbed a 107 pick. I've never landed one of these before. Um, I did a little bit overpay for it, but I got it at Union Public House and they, they charge a little bit more than, uh, they charge more than retail. But it's 107 proof, Weller and uh, I, the, two, the last two picks of this that I tasted, now I didn't get a bottle, but I tasted them. I think they were rivaling Old Rip 10, maybe even better than Old Rip 10. They just absolutely are so much better than a regular Weller Special Reserve, so. Weller 107, you know, this Knob Creek, this the Doc Swenson pick, Jack Daniel Single Barrel Barrel Proof, and the three Found North bottles up here that are they, they're probably, you know, I gotta be honest, they might be the three best bottles on this bar. That's how good they are. 
Uh, and you know, that's some tough ca category to be in, but these things are fantastic. You gotta try them, they're available online. Uh, I don't have to say that, by the way. If I hated these things, I would be completely honest with you. Um, cheers, drinking buddies. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like this video before you leave. If you stayed this long, might as well like it. If you're not a subscriber yet, it is free of charge. But if you're a super fan, there's a link in the description to become a channel member. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.